Traveling throughout Thailand, Jerry sampled local specialties from street vendors. His spot serves up seasonally prepared home cooking with lush curries and house-made jams that capture the spirit of the food he tasted on his treks. In San Francisco at Kin Khao. Kin Khao means eat rice, literally. But in Thailand, rice is a stand-in for all food. So when we say gin khao, colloquially it just means to eat or let's eat. We can say let's gin khao. My name is Pim Teshumun Vaivit. I'm the chef proprietress of gin khao Thai eatery in San Francisco. Thai food is great for sharing. There are dishes that are salty, there are dishes that have a lot of aromatic spices, and then there are some dishes that are really spicy. So we want you to eat all of that together to make a meal. Some dishes are going to test you, right? <laughs> I promise. But not everything is spicy. We're on a mission to liberate Thai cuisine from the tyranny of peanut sauce. Not that I hate peanut sauce, I don't. I'm just sort of jokingly saying, because when people think of Thai food, there's peanuts and peanut sauce constantly. I felt like if I don't share what I know, if I don't challenge people to try something new and something different about Thai food, it may just disappear. I want to keep it going. I, I want these kind of flavors, I want these approach to Thai food to perpetuate and to continue. I'm a link on this chain. All right, Jerry, Kin Khao, it, it kind of refers to let's eat, right? It, it does, you know, I, Thai food has a special place for me because I became a vegetarian in the late 80s, which there was not a lot of veggie options at a lot of restaurants, but Thai food is very customizable. Right. I went to Thailand for that reason. I went there for a month because I just wanted to eat throughout the whole country. <laughs> Kin Khao, they do a really great job at capturing this sort of street food. Like Their ingredients are bold, but still authentic. Mm -hmm. They use amazingly fresh ingredients, which I absolutely love. And the boldness never really gets outside, I think, of the spectrum of Thai food. So it's not going to like completely surprise you. But if you are used to like the typical, like, here's your scoop of brown rice, here's your curry type of thing on a plate. This is not the place for you, right? right? It's right. completely different. So I have my go-to appetizer, which is this mushroom curry mousse thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it comes in a mason jar and it's this mousse that's just lightly curried with mushrooms inside of it. And then it has a white foam on top, which I believe is uh, coconut milk. And it comes with homemade fresh uh, rice crackers. And you just scoop it out and, you know, spread it on. And it's just absolutely mouthwatering, delicious. If you love mushrooms, this is definitely the dish for you to start with. You know, I have to say, I love mushrooms. Love, love, love mushrooms. So we started with that. Mm -hmm. And it was so beautifully presented and the rice cakes were not not your ordinary rice cake. Right. They were fabulous. But I didn't taste any mushrooms, so oh. I was really disappointed. Although, that said, it was one of the highlights of what we ordered that evening. Well, we started with a cocktail. Yeah, there you go. And they were great. <laughs> you know, the people were very sweet, a, a young staff. There's a bar there, you know, they're, they're shaking drinks. We had three snacks. We had a pickled vegetable with Romanesco and cauliflower and carrots and so forth, spiced peanuts, but the star of the snacks were pork rinds with chili and lime. Mm -hmm. It's like rice crisps to porkville. I mean, yeah. as we squeeze the lime on it, they start to pop and crack, and as you know, we taste them, they're cracking in our mouths and we're laughing and talking. It was a hip place. Our friend had a uh, Mai Tai, right? Uh, delicious. Ba -dum -ba -dum -sh. <laughs> and then the first thing we ordered was these ribs. They were hot paste ribs, and I can't remember all the ingredients, but there was an equal amount of paste to meat. Very hot. And they were hot, baby. Very <laughs> hot. And one of the waitresses said to us, you know, we have Thai people coming in saying they want it hotter. <laughs> so I switched from a gin and club to a Thai beer. And I went for my second rib right away. They, they don't, I like to call it honky hot. They don't do that Ooh. there. Like, it's not, it's Thai hot. It's like, hot. Like, it's you hot. get in Thai hot, which I love. Yeah. Did you sweating. feel like it was hot, Anne-Marie? I totally felt like it was hot. And I am not a hot girl. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so you are. It was a little overwhelming for me. A little too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also ordered the um, squid and felt like it was a little bit too hot. That was one thing that we didn't finish. It was just too much. They don't shy away from the heat at all. Well, you know, you can order little shots of coconut milk. You can ask them to douse the heat with mm. a little shot of coconut milk. They'll bring that you might on. have worked yeah. well if our server was anywhere nearby. Oh, busy but place. We busy night. felt like 
our service was very slow. We were seated in the corner and it was extremely drafty. So I really wanted to like this place, but I was a little bit disappointed. It's interesting, it's located at the bottom of a hotel, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but when we showed up, it was a hopping, hip place. And you know, it's a young wait staff. They were very friendly, very knowledgeable. So for my entree, I got, which I guess this is a pad CU on some level, if, that, if you've had Thai food, that's what you equate it to. And what I love about this dish is that the noodles are fresh. So that's the best part, right? You don't typically get that in a Thai restaurant. And you know, it has the egg in it, it has uh, little bits of tofu, and they're all kind of fried and tiny and just crispy. It's probably the same thing you like about the pork rind part, right? It's yeah, just that, that actually, crispiness. That's, that's you know? Those, how do you say the beans? They're called the nam tak beans. I call them a nice bowl of delish. <laughs> they're amazing. You know, spicy, salty, herby, peanut -y. It's kind of like these boats of these one inch creamy beans on top of this romaine boats. That but you they've, just... they've been toasted in some rice powder. Yeah, so exactly. Give a little crunchiness to yeah, them. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Then, you know what? We had this curried beef cheeks. And it was like if someone from the 50s of America asked someone in Thai to make them a stew. It's just this gelatinous gravy that, you know, don't need any knives. In fact, you just wanted to pick it up and put it in your mouth. <laughs> so delectable. And what about the fish? So it was this beautiful whole rockfish that was stuffed with, you know, whole lemongrass. And it came to the table. It was beautiful. It just wasn't my favorite. It was okay. Uh, what about the pork belly? The pork belly was just falling off your fork. It was cooked perfectly. We really enjoyed that. Yeah. And there were probably about six pieces in there. It was delicious. What else did you have that was a favorite? Dessert, Leslie. Ah, of yes. course. <laughs> the one that we went for was this black rice pudding. Three different smaller bowls with a sweet coconut cream and then the coconut caramel and then toasty rice. So you can make it as sweet or as crispy as you want, and there was nothing left in that bowl. All right, Jerry, your spot. Give us a quick summary. You know, if you love Thai food like I do, and you're looking to level up your Thai experience, go to King Cow now. And Anne Marie. So I really wanted to like it. I was a little disappointed. Perhaps it's just not my type of food. I don't think I'll be returning. All right, and Frank. If you're looking for, you know, a hip place with small plates or a full Thai meal, give King Cow a try. All right, if you would like to try Kin Cow, it's located at the corner of Ellis and Mason in the Park 55 Hotel in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-362-7456. It's open every day for lunch and dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $50. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has in-trend surfaces, quieter marbles and rare exotics. Over 10,000 slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin and at marblecompany.com. Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. At Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley. Online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Sutter Health CPMC, 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. La Tour Angel Artisan Oils, French-inspired and handcrafted in Northern California. La Tour Angel creates natural, healthy cooking oils that add new flavor to everyday dishes. Support for KQED comes from Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with six Bay Area locations.